For setup, you should have a tent to keep the monarch safe. You need milkweed for food for the caterpillars. There should be a plastic container with water inside. You need holes in the container's lid. Holes should be melted in the bottom of floral tubes. The tubes go into the lid holes. Remember to cut a slanted piece at the bottom of the milkweed stem and put it into the floor tube with the stem coming out the bottom. Changing the milkweed often will make the monarchs have healthy. <laughs> to get the milkweed, you can go along the roadsides and cut it. To prepare the milkweed, you will need to wash it in soapy water so that there are no other insect eggs on it that you don't see. It is very important that you rinse it very well. Store the milkweed in a, in a refrigerator with the stems in the water until needed. Keep replacing it when, the, when most leaves are eaten or getting dry. The caterpillars eat milkweed. It gives them poison. The poison stays in the body even when it becomes a butterfly. If a bird eats a monarch, it can die. Milkweed is green and tall. If you cut open a milkweed plant, you can see see sticky milky stuff. In the spring, milkweed has purple pink flowers on it. If the flowers haven't bloomed yet, bloom they are green. In the end of summer, milkweed has seed pods on it. The pods are green and turn brown. At the end of summer, the pods just pop open. Our class didn't get eggs, but we read a lot about them. Our teachers had books about eggs, and I learned a lot. The eggs are very small. They are as big as the head of a pin. Monarch eggs are yellow and the shape of it, and the shape is oval. The monarch's eggs are have very tiny hairs on them. Mother monarchs lay their eggs on milkweed. If you turn the leaf over on the bottom, you can find a tiny egg. When the eggs are about to hatch, they turn clear. This process takes about three to six days. When the little caterpillar hatches from its egg, it's very small, but it won't be for long. The little caterpillars don't move fast. The little caterpillars eat milkweed and don't stop until they are butterflies. They have jaws to munch down the milkweed. Little caterpillars poop too. It is called frass. It is very small at first. The caterpillar skin will come off and a new bigger skin forms. This is called molting. The face mask also comes off because it is part of its body. It molts five times. The last time it sheds, it will do it a special way. The skin splits and the caterpillar wiggles until all the skin is off and falls to the floor of the tent. The first four times it sheds, it will eat the skin. When we had our large caterpillars, the biggest they got was four inches. When they got big, they looked really awesome. When they get large, you can see the body parts better. Some of the bar their body parts are tech tentacles, true legs, prolegs, and spiracles. Caterpillars have strong jaws so they can chew leaves. The more the caterpillars eat, the bigger they get. The caterpillars eat about 30 leaves to get ready for the next stage. When the caterpillars get large, their frass gets large too. They move fast too. You can hear them make sounds when they chew and it's really cool. When the caterpillars get larger, they get brighter colors. The white spots on their faux feet get larger and easier to see. Pentacles get longer too. The large caterpillars get a lot more milkweed, milkweed than when they were tiny caterpillars. I was so amazed by how much milkweed they eat each week. 
The butterfly finds a spot on the back of a leaf or a branch. Then it will spin a button of sticky white silk to attach it to the branch. Then it hangs upside down in a J shape. It is so cool to see in real life. When the caterpillar is in its J shape, it wiggles to shed its skin. This is the last time the caterpillar sheds its skin. The green is just what's underneath the caterpillar skin. The cream master is a small black stem. It pushes out from the pupa and helps push the skin off. Then the pupa pushes it into the budded. The third stage in the life cycle of a monarch is the pupa. The outside hardens into a chrysalis. The chrysalis is green with little gold specks on it. When the butterfly is about to come out of the chrysalis, it darkens and then you can see the butterfly inside. When the butterfly emerges, it is all wet. Then it has to dry its wings by pumping them. When it comes out of its chrysalis, some of the extra fluid falls to the bottom of the tent. Butterflies have colors and patterns. They have a antenna, a proboscis, and legs. The colors on them are very beautiful. They have black, white, and orange. Their patterns are very much all over their wings with white dots along the edges. The monarch butterflies have long black antennas like other butterflies. The proboscis is just like a mouth for them to drink nectar from the flower. Its legs are just like a spider's long and black. Boys and girls look the same except the boys has a dark spot on each hind wing. The wings look so delicate that they make the butterfly eat seem more fragile than it is. They are very beautiful creatures. Monarch butterflies eat the nectar of flowers, such as the Zinnia black-eyed Susan, Marigold sweet William, Verbena, and Lantana. A monarch sucks the nectar with his proboscis. A proboscis is a long tube-like mouth. In our classroom, we fed the monarchs some flowers and watermelon. When it eats, its proboscis rolls out. The monarch butterflies sleep on the side of the tent. They sleep in rows. They go to sleep in the late afternoon and wake up in the morning. The monarchs sleep in rows as well as when they sleep in uh, the winter on oil melt trees. The monarch butterflies wake up from overwintering around April or May. Have you ever wondered what's, what's on a monarch's butterfly tag? A monarch butterfly's tag has a tag number, a phone number to call, and it says monarch watch. People tag monarch butterflies to see where they end up when they migrate. You tag a monarch butterfly on its de 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 decal cell, which is on its hind wing. On the day of the release, the weather was nice. The temperature was 69 degrees. After we opened the tent, the butterflies landed on a bush, a tree, and a flower. Everybody was so sad when they left. We released them in our courtyard. I think it was the other classes looked out the windows and saw them get released too. It was fun seeing them fly away. Our teacher took pictures of us and the butterflies before we released them. Three times a week, my class graphed how it was. My class also wrote down what happened. For example, a caterpillar munched on a milkweed stem and then went inside it. The journal was mostly to keep track of what happened in a, in a monarch's life. We worked hard to observe, illustrate, and write about our monarchs. They have in, really inspired me. The monarch caterpillar sheds its skin, so our teacher put under a microscope some face masks, skins, an empty chrysalis, and a dead butterfly she brought in. 
The butterfly skin looks like a lizard scales. The caterpillar skin is black and crunched up. I really enjoyed looking at them. We wrote about the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. We wrote about the four stages, egg, caterpillar, pupa, and butterfly. In our books, we also wrote that we only had three butterflies, and they all were girls. We also drew pictures of monarchs as caterpillars, pupas, and butterflies. I thought it was fun to make a book and learn about monarchs. When monarchs migrate, they go to Mexico, if they are east of the Rocky Mountains. If they are west of the Rocky Mountains, they go to California. We know that monarch butterflies are the only butterflies that migrate. They would get killed by the cold weather. They migrate to stay warm. They glide to conserve energy, so maybe that's why they are able to gain weight. Scientists believe that the antenna help them find their way. They fly in flocks when they migrate. They head home in April or May. They don't make it all the way, so they mate and lay eggs. It takes many generations to make it all the way back. Saving the monarchs is very important. People are cutting oil mill trees in Mexico for lumber. Cutting down oil mill trees could destroy roast, roosting trees and it also lets rain and snow in. A lot of times monarchs can die from this. People cut down trees in California for new homes on the coast. If people continue to do these things, there may be no more monarch butterflies. Milkweed is the only thing monarch caterpillars will eat. Over the years, there has been a loss of milkweed. Farmers have been spraying their crops and the insecticides will kill the monarchs. They are also clearing the land for people's uses. That will also kill milkweed. If there is no more milkweed, the monarchs will not be able to lay their eggs. Monarchs are beautiful creatures of nature. We need monarchs to help pollinate. Plants are the producers on Earth, so butterflies are important to the energy chain.